This video covers Audio Architect networked settings and connectivity, which should be understood before going online with Audio Architect. Basic network familiarity and the ability to configure your computer to connect to a network is required to use Audio Architect online to configure and control Harman HiQnet devices. Before you go online with Audio Architect, it is good practice that everything is tested and a known working piece of gear, or at least last time used. All AMPS devices and the Control Computer Network Interface card, which I will refer to as a NIC for the remainder of this tutorial, are configured on the same IP address network. Remember that all new Harman devices are shipped DHCP enabled, not with a default static IP address. Audio Architect must be configured to communicate using the correct NIC on the control computer plugged into the network with an Ethernet cable. This is configured in Network Connectivity Settings, accessible from the File tab in the upper left corner. Launch the Application Options window and select Network Connectivity in the list. The IP address listed in the Ethernet Interfaces section displays the NIC Audio Architect is communicating with. The default setting is all adapters and may cause difficulty depending on the circumstance because Audio Architect will be communicating out of all enabled adapters on your computer. Often wireless adapters will fight for communication with wired local area network adapters, and you may need to disable wireless on your computer to connect via your local area network port. Another common situation is to be connected to sound system devices on one NIC and another network for internet email with a second NIC. In this situation, it is best practice to configure Audio Architect to the HiQnet network using just one specific NIC on your computer. Select all adapters in the Ethernet Interfaces section and press the Remove Connection button. Next, click the Add Connection button. The pop-up window shows available enabled active Ethernet interfaces by IP address. All adapters is always an option if you want to go back to that setup. Select the IP address of your connected NIC here. For more information on how to establish the IP address of the connected NIC, consult the Networking Basics Part 2 video. Even if your computer has only one NIC and IP address, the PC adapter dropdown will display a second IP address of 127.0.0.1. This is called the loopback address and is your computer's way of identifying itself whether or not it has an assigned IP address. You won't detect any HiQnet devices if you choose this address. For non-Ethernet devices, such as several of the Crown USB amplifiers, you may add and subtract USB ports. To communicate with the DBX Drive Rack 4800 serially, a COM port can be added. Adding proxy connection IP addresses allows remote connection over a network across subnets, VLANs, or via VPN using this feature. This is quite advanced functionality and not used for the majority of systems. Don't forget to press the OK button to accept all of your changes. Any computer running a HiQnet application will have a HiQnet address. One is assigned to the application upon download. If you want to assign a specific fixed HiQnet address to the application on your computer, type one into the box. A reminder is displayed across the bottom of this pop-up window to close down the application and reopen it for this change to take place. As with IP addresses, a unique HiQnet address is required for each device on the system. Since devices are added to Audio Architect starting at HiQnet address 1, it's a good idea to make Audio Architect's HiQnet address a high number to avoid a possible conflict. When online to the network, Audio Architect always receives meter data from the meters visible on the screen at that time. In situations where there are several meters on one control panel, depending on network bandwidth available, there may be degradation in performance. Slowing the meter subscription rate can help bring things to an acceptable performance level. Move the slider or just type in the number of the milliseconds desired for subscription rate. Now that you've made sure all of your network connectivity settings are configured for Audio Architect, it's time to connect to the network and go online to the system. 